Hello, I am Brittany, the teen librarian at North Riverside Public Library. This is Thor, and we are going to be reading to you How to Catch a Star by Oliver Jeffers. This is exciting, Thor. How do you catch a star? We are going to find out. Once, there was a boy, and the boy loved stars very much. Look at all those stars, Thor. Every night, the boy watched the stars from his window and wished he had one of his very own. And there he is looking at them. Thor, we like looking at stars, right? He dreamed of how this star would be his friend. They would play hide and go seek and take long walks together. seems very special. I think we should get our own star, Thor. The boy decided he would try to catch one. He thought that getting up early in the morning would be best, because then the star would be tired from being up in the sky all night. The next day, he set out at sunrise, but he could not see a star anywhere, so he sat down and waited for one to appear. He waited and he waited and ate lunch. Lunch is always important, right, Thor? And he's also being very patient, so that's very nice. And waited, and after dinner, he waited some more. And finally, just before the sun was about to go away, he saw a star. And there it is. All right, Thor, how do you think he's gonna catch it? The boy tried to jump up and grab it, but he could not jump high enough. So very carefully, he climbed up to the top of the tallest tree he could find, but the star was still way out of reach. That's true, Thor. Stars are very high up in the sky. How is he gonna get one? He thought he might lasso the star with the life preserver from his father's boat but it was much too heavy for him to carry. That was a good idea though, right Thor? He tried it out. If only he could fly up in a spaceship and just grab the star, but the only spaceship he owned was made of paper and it didn't fly well at all. Thor, we should get our own spaceship. Perhaps he could get a seagull to help him fly up into the sky to reach his star, but the only seagull he could find didn't want to help. So there he is trying to ask the seagull. The boy worried he would never catch a star. Just then he noticed something floating in the water. It was the prettiest star he had ever seen. Just a baby star. It must have fallen from the sky. So there it is. Thor, what do you think is going to happen? He tried to fish it out with his hands, but when the boy reached out to touch the star, it just rippled through his fingers. So there he is trying to grab it. Now, the boy was sad, but in his heart, the wish just wouldn't give up. Slowly, he began walking home. And that's when he saw it, washed up on the bright golden sand. Look at that. What is that now? Looks like a star to me. The boy had caught a star, a star of his very own. How exciting. He did not give up on his wish. And look, now he gets to read to it. That's exciting, Thor. You should always wish for something and it will maybe come true if you try hard enough, right? So with that being said, I think it's nap time for Thor.
That's what he wishes. So thank you for watching.